This video describes the new trivariate density statlet added to Stat Graphics 18. The trivariate density statlet is used to estimate the probability density function of three quantitative variables. In this mesh plot, color is used to represent areas where the observations are most dense. As an example, I've loaded into the Stat Graphics 18 data sheet information about 272 eruptions of the Old Faithful Geyser in Yellowstone National Park. The first column shows the duration in minutes of each eruption. The second column is the waiting time until the next eruption, while the third column is the duration of the next eruption. To estimate the joint distribution of these three variables, I'll go to the top menu to Statlets, Data Exploration, Trivariate Density. I'll put duration as variable 1, waiting time as variable 2, and the duration of the next eruption as variable 3. Initially, the data are displayed as a three-dimensional scatter plot. As I spin the plot around a little bit, you can see that there are definite groups of data within that three-dimensional space. You can see that if the duration of an eruption is short, then the waiting time until the next eruption also tends to be short and the duration of the next eruption tends to be long. On the other hand, if the duration of the eruption is relatively long, then it tends to be a long time until the next eruption occurs. And that eruption is almost equally likely to be either a long one or a short one. If we wanted to, we could fit a multivariate normal distribution to this data. I'm showing it here as what's called a mesh plot. The red area in the middle is the area in which it's estimated the observations would be most dense. Now a multivariate normal distribution is defined by one peak, one area of highest density which really doesn't correspond to this data very well. A better alternative is to estimate what's called a non-parametric density estimate. A non-parametric density estimate uses a window which it moves throughout the space estimating how dense the observations are at different locations. We control the bandwidth of that window with this slider here. The lower the bandwidth, the more information I'll get about what's happening in local areas. And you can see as I bring it down here, you're able to see the multiple modes in the data set. Looking at the trivariate density estimator, it definitely appears that in the three-dimensional space, of duration, waiting time, and subsequent duration, there are four areas in which points tend to cluster. 